Doi doi. Not just a funny word to say, but the name of a bird within shipwrecked. These things are goofy, but also endangered as what you see here is pretty much impossible to stumble upon. There are no doi doi herds naturally within shipwrecked itself. In fact, there are but two stupid birds per world generated initially, and it's our job to save the species. This is one of those videos though, folks, where I can't truly help in a sense simply due to world generations being so dang different each time. But typically, you'll have two lovebirds spawning on two separate islands. However, an almost surefire way of knowing when to look on an island is if you see a small, lone patch of roundish beach surrounded by or connected with jungle. And withered grass and saplings are going to be dotted about as well. So if you see this, then chances are it's time to start looking for one of our roaming bird friends. Once you do find a doy of doys, what is the plan? Well, if you don't really care for the loot, you could kill it straight up to instantly spawn our friend Krampus to try for a large sack of goodness. But that's a horrible idea. You have just screwed the potential for a healthy doi doi population, so yeah. Let's not go about doing this just yet. Instead, do me a favor and head out to locate the second doi doi on its island before any interaction with any of the colorful stupidity even occurs. You're gonna thank me later, cause time is gonna be of the essence. Cause now we can wait until the cover of night to snatch up the endangered animal for our own pleasure, and then immediately begin to race to the second doi doi. We do not have much time. For you see, doi doi's will starve in your inventory very quickly. However, you can feed them pretty much anything under the sun to give yourself more time to transport one to the other if you truly do need it. But know that you could just drop one on an island, remember where that island is, and then go pick them up again later. A word of advice regarding the transport of these animals though, I'd pick a super safe island with no possibilities of snakes, spiders, or anything related to swamps and the like to house your up and coming doi doi population, even if it means relocating both birds to a different island, as you want them to live in peace before you yourself end up murdering them left and right. But play matchmaker for the initial two birdies and stand back cause there's love in the air and I'm pretty sure you don't want to get any of it on your person. Children, avert your eyes, but eventually turn your attention to the miracle of birth. Some way, somehow, they not only made new life, but presented it in such style. A new doi doi nest is here, and man, perhaps these things aren't as dumb as we thought. Now at this point, you don't have to do a single darn thing if you choose. A baby doi doi will hatch from nests and nests alone after two days and can be murdered for a feather and morsel if you're a monster like me. But repress your killing tendencies for another two days and you'll be handling teens. But if you can't take that, then enjoy two feathers and a bigger piece of meat this time around. However, be patient as this phase only lasts one day and soon you will have yet another Another adult doi doi wandering about. In that span of time, another nest should be already in the hatching stage. So soon, brothers and sisters, moms and dads will be working together to grow in numbers. Wait, what? Never mind that. What happens in nature stays in nature. Just know that doi doi's breed every two to three days, so this once endangered animal will quickly rise to the occasion. Note as well though that you can only have 20 total doi doi's in a world at any given time. So what can we do about that? Silly question you. Murder of course. Just note that less doi's there are in the world, the higher naughtiness will rise upon each one's death. An adult doi doi is dropping some meat for you, but also their exclusive colorful feathers that lead to three crafts. The tropical fan, the feather light sail, and, well, a craftable doi doi nest for yours truly. Let's break them down. Quickly now, the nest requires two feathers, eight twigs, and four manure. And you might be thinking that you can just craft this and not have to wait for your doi doi's to get it on themselves, right? But, uh, no. It's not gonna work like that. Nests you craft will always be empty, 
but you can place an egg that you've gotten in one to begin the hatching process, so I guess that's a thing. The tropical fan is the luxury fan, only it's tropical, so who would have guessed that one? You'll need five feathers, so I hope you do not mind spilling the blood of innocent creatures, but the fan itself has 15 uses, reduces your temperature by 50 degrees per use, and puts out nearby fires for you. It's sweet relief from that dry heat out on the open waters. In the words of Willow, we gotta hand it to these dum-dums. They do make good sales. Toss together two bamboo, two rope, and four doi-doi feathers for the feather light. An attachment that not only lasts for two days, but increases sailing speeds by 40%, making it the highest of any sail in that regard in shipwreck. I will say though, if you've got the iron wind already, then the sail really isn't a big deal, unfortunately. Couple things before we wrap though. If you want to eat the eggs, then be my absolute guest. You'll heal for three and fill for 25 if they are eaten raw, but heal for naught and fill for 37.5 if the eggs happen to be cooked. Oh, and you could use them in crockpot recipes if you wish to, but I really wouldn't use it for anything of what I just mentioned, to be honest. For heaven's sake, keep these feathery beasts away from your crap. Doi Doi's eat almost anything off anything most anywhere. So it's why you should really dedicate an isolated, safe island for Doi Doi's only. And to keep them away from your valuables. They will eat entire stacks. And there is a 20% chance that you will be rewarded for bringing love to its peak with an additional feather for your pleasure. Love is the answer, apparently. Unless murder is available. And that's always available in my book. But there you have it, everyone. A guide on doi -doys. How to find them, relocate them, and what their togetherness brings to the table and how they might not be the most pivotal to our overall survival, but their unique mechanics are still worth saving. Thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.